In this video, I'm talking to Ginny Adams from Sellerboard about how Amazon sellers could manage their inventory more accurately by using inventory management tool by Sellerboard. Ginny shows how Sellerboard's inventory management tool works and what are the key elements that this tool helps to pay attention to to help you to plan your inventory more efficiently. To learn more about Sellerboard, which is a profit analytics and management accounting software for Amazon sellers, you can click on the links in the description. Enjoy this conversation. And if you like the content, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Orange Click YouTube channel. Hello, Jenny. I'm really happy to have you here on Orange Click channel today to talk about inventory management. Uh, but before we go to the, today's topic, could you please introduce yourself and uh, tell a couple of words about Sellerboard as well? Sure. Thanks, Lisette, for having me. So I'm Jenny. I'm from Sellerboard, and we're here to speak about um, accurate inventory management on the go. So Sellerboard is an accurate profit analytics service with a bunch of additional tools such as follow-up email campaigns, inventory management, reimbursement for lost and damaged stock, and other BRs, as well as we have a PPC optimizer and hijacker alerts, and a lot of other cool stuff that you'll be able to see when you visit sellerboard.com, but for now we cover inventory. Okay, perfect. And today we'll uh, do a walkthrough of the inventory management tool. Is that right? Yes, we'll go through oh. inventory management and just let me know when I can share my screen. Yeah, uh, I think let's go ahead, share your screen and you can go through the most important uh, aspects of the tool so sellers would know uh, what they would win from using your uh, tool. Sounds good. So I'm using um, a demo account that's here on our web page. Um, not so all of these are just fake numbers. Let's assume they're real ones. So while it's loading, um, I'll let you know a bit. So the um, thing is that keeping your inventory current and accurate is the key to happy customers and active sales. And if you run out of stock or unable to fulfill orders, your customers will probably head right to your competitors or they'll just not buy from you and eventually you will lose sales. So we're going to click on the inventory um, menu over here. Okay, so just to explain it very shortly, um, as mentioned, that if you are not able to fulfill orders, your customers will likely um, go to your competitors or will just not buy from you and you'll not be able to fulfill sales. sales. And not having enough inventory in hand might cost you uh, not only sales, as customers are likely to buy, spend more and return to the same seller, which means that you're actually even losing returning, sell returning buyers. Um, this is why um, seller ranking is taken very, very seriously in terms of um, sales. And if items don't sell, that you are owed to sell, um, you might end up having to take a markdown or get rid of them as failing to deliver products on time or out of stocks and have, or having high return rates can drive down your seller rating. So the purpose of inventory management is to make sure you always have stock to sell, you have the, just the right amount of stock like nothing extra so that you have to get rid of it afterwards. And you're always able to fulfill sales as well as manage the returns that are in a sellable condition as well. So therefore, efficient inventory management has a direct impact on your Amazon seller ratings as well. So, and if you cannot meet customer demand, this is a huge problem. So what's the inventory feature about? So we have, when you visit the inventory page over here, we'll be able to see the cost of goods, potential sales, and potential profit. What's that? So the cost of goods is the cost of goods that you have at the moment in stock. Okay, just a second, it's loading. Uh, okay, so this is the cost of goods that you have at the moment, right? So you have, uh, here's the amount that you have in prep stock, and this is the amount you have in both FB and FBM stock. So you've ordered $450, and the total is $2,577. This is the cost of goods. However, in potential sales, which means that what's the amount that you are going to get when you sell, it's $24,222, right? That you have at the moment based on the items that you have in stock. For sales, you have $71.91, or you've ordered for $1,598, and that's the total of $25,000. So that's in potential sales. When we take out from potential sales, sales the cost of goods and FBA fees and everything else, you are remained with potential profit. So based on this both, your potential profit out of the items that you have currently in stock is $12,278. Um, well, reserved here is zero and sent to FBA zero, but you'll probably be having different numbers over here in your seller board account. 
Um, we have $55 in prep stock and ordered for 1238 and the total is $13,571 that you have of potential profit of the items, the number of units that you have currently in stock. So here's how it works. If you scroll down, also we're always able here to filter by products or by tags. We can filter whether you want to view either FBA, FBM or both, and we can filter by marketplaces as well. So. What we do is we scroll down and we'll, we will be able to see the products that we have currently in stock. So what happens is um, if we click over here, for example, on cost of goods, we'll be, we'll be able to see the cost of goods of each product that we have, right? So for example, manufacturing costs 0 0.60 cents, shipping is 300 for 2000 units um, and additional information below. Right, so we have the, the manufacturing fee, sh shipping fee, PayPal fee, um, clearance fee, we take all into account. Thing that goes here is, um, oh, and we're able to see over here whether they are, they're a B or FBM. So depending on this product, we have 1,613 units in stock. If we click here, we'll be able to see, um, so they're on amazon.com, so they're in the US marketplace, right? So what we'll be able to see is where the items are. We have the amount of reserved items and the stock value. So this is the stock value that we have for 1,613 items. Adjusted sales velocity units per day, what's that? So we at Celebrate count your velocity of orders per day of selling units. So you have 1,613 units, basically per day you sell around 38.91 units, right? Makes sense. Which means that this stock will last with you 38 days. If taking into account that you sell around 38.91, let's say 40, 39 units per day. So you've left, you have stock of this item left for 38 days. Um, you have zero cent to FB, however, you have nine in prep center stock and you've ordered 200, which means, so we take, um, actually what you can enter in seller board track with inventory management is you can enter the amount of days it takes for the manufacturer to manufacture your product and the amount of days it takes from the manufacturer to ship your products to the FBA warehouse. So we calculate these as well in order to make sure that your items arrive on time to the warehouse and you are not left without stock. Since this is the amount of items that you have at the moment, units 1,613, you have units for um, 38 days. However, in 15 days, you have to do a reorder so that um, by the time the order comes, these units don't finish. Okay, so we have the ROI percentage. We have some comments that you can edit over here and you can edit action. So when you click on edit, what you can do is you enter the target stock range after new order, the amount of days and the FBA buffer. You can enter there when you use a prep center, the amount of days it takes to manufacture a product and the amount of days it takes to ship your product to the FBA warehouse. When you enter these, these numbers, we're able to calculate the sales velocity here and the time it takes for you to order a next, um, a next, uh, like, next amount number of units for the FBA warehouse. And we have a forecast. So what's the forecast about? We have the period of, um, you have, we have period here, here in days, adjusted sales velocity. Days in stock, unit sold velocity and the weight of each. So what we do is we count um, your average sales velocity of items sold. If this, is, if this is a seasonal product, then you can enter seasonal coefficient so that in terms, for example, if this jewelry packaging, jewelry packaging gift box is sold more often during Christmas. So then the, it's seasonal in the Christmas period, right? when all the holidays are and so on. Um, if it's sold over the year, then you do not have to adjust the sales velocity. So thing is here that we, we take into account um, from A to Z, how long it takes to manufacture products for how many days you have it left till the days it reaches the warehouse to make sure that you're not left without stock. So thing is that um, who needs the inventory, inventory management feature? So it's more for the people who are interested in meeting the customer demand with better Amazon, let's say, inventory management. So then this is the tool for those sellers. So for every product, you can specify the production shipment time to the FBA warehouse over here. So thing is that if you're interested in meeting the customer demand with better Amazon inventory management, right, what you can do here is... Um, 
then you can, for every product, you can specify production shipment time to the FBA warehouse or your prep center, let's say if you have one. And what we'll do is we will calculate the selling period, the selling speed per product based on your three, seven and 30 day sales parameters. And we'll automatically notify you whether it's time to restock the FBA warehouse or to place a new order with your supplier. So we enter all the information here and when we, this is how we notify you. So basically we'll notify you I will do like this. We'll notify you here in your alerts, right? Or per email. We as well will notify you over here. So here is how it goes. Um, if it's green, then you have enough stock, enough stock left. If it's green over here, then you don't need to reorder yet. You'll reorder in 15 days. Um, red means you're late on reordering and yellow means it's time to reorder soon. You should be reordering right now, right? So based on the colors here, you can understand whether it's time to reorder and you'll receive notifications in your um, uh, alerts in seller board notifications page. So um, as here it says zero, for example, you're too late on, or on ordering, you should order as fast as possible. Here you should, you should reorder in seven days, but it's time to arrange stuff. So also, for example... Um, here, if it would have been um, red, it means it's also you're light, late on reordering. And if it would have been um, yellow, it means you should start thinking about it. But here it's all good because it's, it doesn't show. So in your seller board account, you'll actually see a color over here as well, on, on, which is clickable. So this was for inventory management. Do you have any questions maybe that I can reply to? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you so much for the overview. Actually, I wanted to ask, so for those who don't know why they should even use an external tool, for example, as you seller, uh, with Sellerboard have, uh, I wanted to ask like, what kind of information is available inside of Seller Central for Amazon? And even if there are, is like a way to manage inventory inside there. So you mean if you are using just the sellers, Amazon Seller Central page without yeah. using Sellerboard? So we at Sellerboard take into account over 70 Amazon fees and we show you everything. For example, I'll show you right now. Um, so what happens back here is when you go when you go to the dashboard, you'll not see the exact same information in such a neat way as you see in seller board. So the very the biggest advantage is that you see everything in a very clear and neat way. So you can view, see it in tiles, chart, profit and loss or trends. So for example, the easiest thing to understand is, for example, let's take this month into account. Um, the biggest advantage, so it's loading a bit is that okay so we've clicked on more for example we've chosen this month we've clicked on more you can see in the very neat page um very neat view how much sales you've made this month how much how many units were sold whether they were sold organic or through vpc um advertising costs shipping refund costs amazon fees cost of goods expenses net profit and we have all the triangles are expandable the list goes on and on so think is that why do you need inventory management? Because you understand the amount of sales that were made, how you will not, Amazon will not recommend you in the sales central whether it's time to do another reorder. You have to take, you have to be taking care of all of that by yourself. Also in terms of inventory, sometimes um, you might have returning items. So basically people buy your items, then they sell it, then they send back to Amazon's warehouse. Let's say they are in a sellable condition, which means you can resell them once again. Um, for you to understand why the customers are returning this product, you can see, for example, over here, the returning reasons, right? So we have 91 refunds and you can see all the reasons over here. So the thing is that um, you'll not be able to control everything so easily and understand all the reasons and view everything in two clicks in this back in the seller central. We provide you a clear view, whether it's in tiles, in profit and loss, um, in trends, whatever you wish. So thing is that um, what we do is we provide a clear and smart view for all the KPIs that you need to be aware of. And we take into account every single thing that is in Amazon. So even the fees that they don't show you, we show it back in seller board, like, my, like I mentioned over 70. And we are the most accurate tool in the market at the moment, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And uh, Jenny, could you also give, an, uh, give us an overview of like how sellers can uh, use uh, this tool or other seller boards too? So uh, what kind of packages you have for Amazon sellers? Sure. So we have packages starting at $15 a month. Thing is that all the features that we have are available in every and each package. Whether you have the standard, the enterprise one, doesn't matter. All, all features are available in each. The only difference is 
how many orders you have per month. So I'll just show a share screen very fast back to the pricing, right? So here is how it goes. So if you pay annually, you get a minus 20% discount. If you pay once in six months, you have a 10% discount. And if you pay monthly, it starts at $19 a month. Pay annually, it starts at 15. So the only difference between packages is the main difference is that if you have under 3,000 orders per month, then this is the package for you. If you have between 3,000 to 6,000, then this is the package for you, professional. If you sell more between 6,000 to 15, it's the business one and so on. So if you're between 15 to 50,000, 50, the enterprise one is for you. If you're selling over 50,000, then you can contact us and we'll pick up the right package that's over 50,000 for you. So all the, so this is the main difference. All the features are available in every single package. It only depends on the amount of orders that you have. Of course, as you grow, you'll have to upgrade. But thing is that for, um, for all um, Orange Click audience that are going to watch our video today, we have a two month of extended trial free, um, no credit card required pre-registration. Perfect. So thank you very much for coming here today and sharing all of the details of your uh, great tool, because I'm sure it really helps Amazon sellers to have a clear overview of their inventory and also all of these fees and profits and everything uh, that could be overwhelming for them without using any tools. Um, so yeah, thanks, Jenny, and hope to see you soon again. You too. Bye bye. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how important it is to manage Amazon inventory accurately and how Sellerboard's inventory management tool helps sellers to stay on top of inventory planning details. From the video description, you will find information and links to Sellerboard so you could discover all of their different tools that help sellers to have their business numbers in real time and manage store more efficiently. Now I would like to invite you to watch another video we have recorded with Sellerboard where you can get an overview of different tools such as autoresponders, alerts, Shopify and eBay integration.